Hey guys, what's up everyone? How are you? And uh, welcome to the full video and full tutorial about the VPS for Jarvi. In this video, I'm going to share with you what is a VPS, why do, why do you need it, how to get it, how to use it, and basically everything you need to know about VPS for Jarvi. It's going to be very, very um, practically and very easy to understand and to make it happen. So don't worry about uh, anything. A small summarize and a few words about me. So nice to meet you all. My name is Adien Konina. I am a Dr. Jarvi. I am working with Jarvi for the last three plus years uh, with Jarvi in other growth hacking uh, tools and methods. Um, you can see my YouTube channel over here if you are not subscribed yet. So please subscribe. We also have our uh, Facebook community as well to any question you have. So let's start, okay? So first of all, what is a VPS? Um, a VPS is a virtual private server, okay? In our words, human <laughs> is just another computer you can um, pay and rent, okay? You don't really purchase this. It's not your own property. You pay another company and they give it to you. Um, of course, only for you. Uh, so this is very, very cool. And also you can uh, access to this computer from any place in the world. Okay. So you can rent it from any company. I will speak about which companies you can use and the good companies, of course, reliable providers. And it's useful for nowhere where you are in the, in the world. Okay. Even if you are in, in the States or in Europe and so on. Now, why do you need it? Three reasons. You can see over here too, but I will add another one. So the first one is Java is not working with Mac. Java is only working with a Windows system. Why? Um, I don't really know. It's like technically <laughs> information. There are some tools we cannot really work on Mac. It's not a software to use on Mac. Technically, it's like not possible to use it on Mac. Okay, so you must get a Windows platform uh, to work with Java. Now, let's say you do have a PC of Windows like this one. As you can see over here, my screen, I have Windows. Um, but honestly, I don't want my computer to run 24-7. I don't want Java. It's like a heavy software. I don't want it to be on my own computer. So I can just pay and get a VPS and that's it. I solve it. The third reason, and I mentioned it before, when you have a VPS, you can actually let your workers, your team members, your VA to log in and to use it from any place in the world, okay? So this is why I think it's actually a very, very good solution for all of the Java users. Now, if you only have like one account or two accounts and, you know, you're just playing with Jarvi, so you can also run it on your own computer. This is what I did when I just started. If you're looking for a long-term solution, if you're looking to run multiple accounts and, you know, like to build something bigger, so I think it would be good to start from, from the start with a VPS, okay? Of course, you can also transfer all of the data, all of the data of Java if you switch from VPS on computers. We'll speak about it later, but um, I think it's a great solution. What is the requirement for Java? So let's say you have like 10 accounts, you can get Windows Server 2012, 16 or 19, 4 gigabyte of RAM, 2 cores of CPU, 4 gigabyte of SSD. Now, and this is basically pretty, pretty basic uh, VPS. It's like something that, you know, you can get for... Cheaper, cheap price, okay, it's not expensive. Um, just keep in your mind, as long as you're looking to, to build and to add more and more accounts, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, no matter what. So you need a stronger VPS to handle all of the browser and all of the activity of Jarvi, okay? So this is basically a starter one, but of course you can add more. If you have more than 10, so you need already six gigabytes of RAM, four cure of CPU, at least, yeah? It can even be, depends how many accounts you have. It can be like 10, we have already like 20 and at least 80 gigabyte of SSD. SSD is very important, okay? So the computer will run very, very, very fast. You don't want a VPS or a computer, the Java, it's stacked. <laughs> Trust me, I was there. It's not fun. Um, yeah, so this is basically the, the, the basic requirements. Keep in mind, as long as you're going to pay more, you're going to get a more value and stronger PC where to get a VPS, okay? So honestly, you can get a VPS. I'm guessing you heard about it. Um, it's called um, AWS, the Amazon VPS. This is for free, okay? Uh, sorry, Amazon VPS. It's called AWS. Um, you can use that. It will give you like a free VPS. You don't need to pay for one year. I think it's only for one year. Now, keep in your mind 
I really don't recommend about to get their free version because it's like very, 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 very basic VPS and it's like very, like it can be very stacked. They give you something for free, of course, so it's not that good. Um, they also have like some servers and very strong servers on um, expensive prices, like with more uh, like in payment. But you can start with that if you want, like if you don't have any budget and if you just like want to play with that, you can start and try that. If you ask me, I tried it and I didn't like it. Okay, not because Amazon is not good, Amazon is great, just because it's not strong enough to what uh, we need. Um, what I recommend is about Etzner VPS. I also add over here a link where you get like a 20 euro discount. Okay, um, very, very cool one. So let me show you about Etzner. Now, just to let you know, everything that you're, you can see in this video. So, sorry, I just uh, went, want to find it. Hello. So, Everything you see over here, it's like an update data of this video from 2019. Okay, so now we are 2021 or 2022. I don't know when you're going to see that. So I'm speaking only from experience. I tried many, many VPS, trust me. A cheaper, expensive one a, from many, many countries, from Europe, from the States, from Israel. And what I'm showing you over here is like kind of like a shortcut and a short way to what is working the best. So... Don't you worry about like if I'm telling you like good information or not good enough. This is very, very good and from past experience. Of course, it's only like my opinion and my experience. So feel free to test everything and to see it by yourself. Um, as for Etzner, Etzner, it's a German company, a actually very, very famous. Okay, so like if you can see here on similar web, by the way, great Israeli company <laughs> uh, with a great solution to see website traffic so you can see how many people they have on the website it's very 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 common and uh, mostly in germany and russian and more countries okay uh, so they have multiple multiple servers and multiple cloud solutions okay what you need to do you need to go to dedicated and you go to over here ex line i recommend to start with the ex a 42 it's a 40 euro a month okay and you can see over here, it's also include 90% VAT. Uh, you also have one time setup fee of 46.44 uh, euro. Okay, you have it in Germany or in Finland. I would go with Germany, honestly. And you can see what you're getting over here. You get i7 CPU, uh, you get 64 gigabyte of RAM, uh, you get, of course, SSD. Uh, you can see everything the quality technically information it's very 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 strong apc you must make sure you get it um with a window system okay for window system i think you need to pay an extra of like 20 euro or something like that that's okay pay for this okay because you need a, a window system and this is going to be very 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 strong apc for you now uh, if you need something stronger and let's say you have let's say this is for the start if you have like I don't know, you're going to run like for the start 20 accounts or 30, something like this. This is very good. If you're going to run like over 100, this is much better. And of course, uh, you have more and more and more and more like server, like stronger. I have like some monsters over here of PX and more. You can get it, get some expensive stuff, stuff over here. Um, you also have the AX. Um, I think I also get some of like these ones um but yes basically if you're asking me the e the ex servers it's a good one you can also if you have like only one or like two you can just get like even there i think even they have something cheaper i think if you go to like server auction wait sorry so on the server auction they have like some um price like that and you can also get some of these ones 28 euro they have like also some good stuff over here um so if you only like have less than 10 accounts, you just go with one of these ones over here. That would be a good solution. If you're looking like for a long-term solution and over 10, so I would go with the EX and the 40 uh, euro a month to start with that, okay? Um, now, of course, if you saw my older video, I also recommend another company this to work with. I'm not saying they're not good, just saying like this one will give you the best value for your money. Okay, so this is what I recommend. Feel free to test everything. Um, how much it costs? Uh, so 
the sorry the Etner VPS. You know what? Let me show you what I'm paying for. One sec. Okay. Sorry, I'm back. Never mind. So let's say I want to get this one, the EX42, and I get it from Germany. Uh, I need to pay a 46 a euro. And have a look over here. You must make sure you're going to use a Windows system. Uh, if you get a Windows system, you don't need to do this one. You can get just like the standard. It's an extra of 27.49 a euro amount. Okay. So um, you have, you're going to pay for that 73.90 euro. And you also get a, you also need to pay 46.41 for the one set of fee. Okay. And wait, I forget, of course, you need to uh, accept this. And then you click on order now. Basically, up to 24 hours, they're going to send you everything. Mostly one hour, two hours, they will send you all of the information. Very fast, very cool. No worries about it. Okay. You can pay with PayPal or with credit card. So everything is cool. So how it's going to cost you? Between 40 to 50 euro if you have less than 10 accounts. Okay. If you're using Etner, uh, because you get it like for the 26 and then you can get the VPS and all of that. Um, if you want to get up to 100, even I can say 150, so uh, uh, it would be between 100 to 110 euros, something like that. And of course, you, you will go higher so you can get more and more and more um, expensive one is G VPS. Uh, you're going, you, if you're going to, to use the link in the description, sorry, you will get 20 euro discount. Okay, so feel free to use that. Um, as for common questions, so uh, FAQ, yeah. If you have only one to five accounts in Java, do you still in the VPS? No, basically, even if you have thousands of accounts, you can, you know, get a computer. And some people actually do that, do that, do this, sorry. They uh, just like purchase a computer or run the computer on their VPS and, you know, run the Java on their computer on their, um, it can be like on their office, on their home. So you, it's not a must, okay? I just recommend about it for people who are looking for the long term. If you have only like one, two accounts, you can just play on Java on your uh, PC. That's totally fine. Just make sure to work 24 seven. Um, why not use a free VPS like AWS? So for me, it was very, very, very slowly, even for one or two accounts. I cannot suffer from this kind of stuff. I like, I lose my mind. Okay. But I don't know, maybe for you, it will be like a good option just like to start with that and you know like to feel that maybe they're a free vps already much better so definitely you can try this keep in mind it's everything of course um my thoughts uh, does the vps come with an ip and can i use that i mean like a proxy okay ip like a proxy so yes the vps come with an ip okay because it's like connected of course to the internet honestly if you're asking me i would avoid this the use of this ip uh, just because it's been probably used okay the vps you're getting um it's not like something um that it's like new you know it's not something that um no one used before it already was used okay and also most of the ips on the website and on the internet in the world already been used even if it's ipv4 ipv6 so i wouldn't recommend to put any social media account on the vps ip uh, it's mostly data center and like cheapest ip and flagged ip it's not me that you cannot use that yeah i just would recommend to use a 4g proxy for any type of social media automation you're going to do okay i have another video about this you can also check it later but it's what i think um and one before the last question how can you connect the vps from the mac so you can use a microsoft a windows computer you can just run this kind of um application you can download it to your mac and then i just want to show you let's say you get the vps you will get an email okay let me show you how it looks like sorry so you will get an email like that uh, from for example from etner they're going to give you uh, the ip of the of the vps the username and the password what you need to do you can go just to your pc remote desktop connection you put the ip over here and then you click on show the script a show a yes the data you click over here you copy the username you put it over here okay then you click on connect and then you put the password just copy and paste and then pretty much that's it you click okay and that's it you're going to connect of course this is already we changed the data so it's not a, the password 
Uh, another option, by the way, is to download an app I definitely recommend called Microsoft Remote Desktop, like the one I just saw you from a um, Mac. You have the same one on the Windows shop, okay? I will also attach the link from over there. Microsoft Remote Access app, okay? Forgive my English. Uh, okay, okay. So you can just download to your PC and you can use it like that. I like it actually more the app on, on self because it will give you like kind of like um summarize and will show you all of the vps you have so i like it a bit more this is how it looks like you can see one second it's loading you can see all of the vps's um sorry for that so you can download it as well for free by the way it's not cost you any any money um another last last question i haven't had over here but i do want to answer because i get it a lot what is the difference between vpn and vps okay so a vpn it's like a virtual private network okay vps it's a virtual private server it's like a pc you get it's not like a network now in most of the vpn you're going to use the information it's not really private okay they're actually sharing this kind of like network you get now i'm not saying it's everyone i'm not saying it's like 400 percent but you can just read about it on google does vpn is good to use especially the free ones and you can see and you can you can have a look like of course some um some website will say to you yes or like no but uh, basically basically it won't give you to to save on all search light cancer can scenarios a uh, i don't know from my experience and what i realized after i found it's not really really a good things um, especially when it comes to like big companies who selling the data okay uh, why vpn is not safe one sec uh, especially the free one Mostly they're like sharing the data and they're like, yes. So um, if you're asking me, get a VPS. It also should be um, cheaper. You get a PC. Yeah, and just find also like this kind of data. Yes, they monitor the traffic and so on and so on, especially apps and stuff like that. So this is about the difference between a VPS and a VPN. I would go um, honestly with a VPS or with your own computer definitely okay you can also use this it's all good and um, so that's it if you like this video if you enjoyed if i managed to help you at any way so a uh, please i would highly appreciate if you're going to click the subscription the subscribe sorry <laughs> button over here on youtube and and if you're going to comment how i managed to help you as well if you need any extra help so you can join for free for our jarvi community on facebook okay feel free to post anything you need any so any problems anything just join it's a private community by the way that's it thank you very much for watching and uh, good luck and hope to see you on the next one bye bye